the formidable robot. Remember last time when I managed to dig up a VHS tape of that signal intrusion? There was something in the exposition that I actually neglected to mention. The Chipmunks got a whole theatrical movie towards the end of the show's run, known as, The Chipmunk Adventure. It was about the main characters, Alvin's gang and the Chipettes, being tricked by two German diamond smugglers into traveling around the world and doing their dirty work for them. For most of the film, they're under the impression that it's a contest, and that the winner will get $1,000 in cash. But towards the end, they discover the scheme, initiating a chase scene. The song that plays during this moment is, Diamond Dolls. You may be asking yourself why I bring up this specific song, and what it has to do with the last incident. But everyone, it happened again. It was roughly around 4 in the morning when I heard my doorbell ring. I was jolted awake by the initial noise, but soon fell back asleep. The next morning, I woke up bright and early, walking to the front door to collect the paper. Here I found, another VHS tape. Looks like this mysterious perpetrator took a few notes from last time, distributing stuff underground and all. The tape was covered in mold like the last one, but now also reeked of decomposition, which was strange. I saw from the last tape that the person making these wasn't the most hygienic though, so I just put the tape in my media player. It booted up with a scene from the Chipmunk Adventure, the part where the two groups have a battle of the bands in the Greek ruins. But right in the middle of the song, the girls of rock and roll, the scene is, well, off. When it showed Brittany, Jeanette and Eleanor ascending a staircase, Jeanette suddenly looks behind her, breathing heavily. Text appeared over a shot of her eyes widening. She was merely an animal to be hunted. There was then live action footage of someone running through the woods, tripping repeatedly over their own feet. As they fell to the ground, a pair of pink rimmed glasses landed in what was either snow or dirt, unsaturated due to the camera's low quality. The audio had been silent for a little while, but it suddenly cut back on with a voice, sounding like a teenage boy going through a voice crack and a grown man all at once, yelling something to her that I couldn't decipher. Text appeared yet again. You know what I want Simon. Another cut in the film, Jeanette danced around, the animation was superimposed over a photo of an empty grayscale bedroom. She didn't seem happy about singing or dancing however, as her face was emotionless, I suggesting that she had been crying for a while due to their redness. We don't have to do what you tell us to do no more. You get what you need and you don't want it anymore. We don't cry now, we don't know how. The vocals were isolated and sounded almost desperate at some points, like Roger Waters during the end of Hey You. It was like the voice actress was about to have a panic attack as she sung. Then, Jeanette paused, standing still. The text returned, this time with a heavily distorted, vaguely supernatural narrator. So... You draw them as chipmunks to cope? Yes sir. I do. The teenager-like voice returned. The footage reverted to live action and cut to a man loosely resembling Simon from the original tape, this time way more disheveled, with longer hair and glasses that made it impossible to see his eyes. He quietly sung the bridge of diamond dolls to himself. Silver, platinum. I pass on them. You can have them. I know what I want. The young man suddenly turned towards the viewer, or myself. I could see his eyes. They were white, pure white. Tear-stained, lost-looking, like a doll left in the rain by their child. He's the one on the run. The boy with the diamond dolls. I loved her. Why did she leave me behind? Why did she leave me to rot in the unforgiving Wisconsin snow? Why did she leave me to fend for myself? The oldest gets all the praise, the youngest gets all the love, but what do I get? I got intelligence, but no praise. Sympathy, but no love. I'm just another case in the files, another kid gone missing. My name is Larry Lawson. But you can call me Simon. Mechanical whirring interrupted him as the tape unwound in the player, seeming to self-destruct. Right at the end though, there was footage of the woods yet again. I saw Larry, or shall I say, Simon, with someone standing behind him. Their hands were white like gloves. 
they'd come to snuff all who he'd bonded with, everyone he knows. And I may be next.